The properly designed and installed work zone traffic control setup has three purposes. To warn, to guide, to protect. As a way to increase the effectiveness of work zone traffic control, especially on the interstate system, the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation has purchased and distributed specially equipped shadow vehicles. This is the Shadow of Safety, a video program designed for the operator of these vehicles. This shadow vehicle is a designated, specially equipped vehicle capable of portable protection, protection for the worker and for the motorist. There are five major items that make up this shadow vehicle. They are the truck. And at the time of this program, the two most used PennDOT vehicles are the Model 4065 and the Model 2064 dump trucks. The high back seat with aviation style harness, the truck bed mounted light aero panel, the ballast, and the truck mounted attenuator or TMA. Let's discuss these various items because they are, as a package, necessary to have a complete shadow vehicle. The aviation style harness is a most effective personnel restraint device. The high back seat helps prevent possible whiplash injuries in the event that the truck is struck. The flashing aero panel has been designed to give a warning of traffic control zones using illuminated directional arrows capable of being visible for one mile. The ballast, which is sand, consists of sufficient weight to give the shadow vehicle a total weight of at least 20,000 pounds. The barrels may be loaded or removed by this lifting device designed by the staff at the Cumberland County Le Moyne Annex, or you may purchase a lifting device commercially, like the one shown here. Our recommendation is for the use of the frangible barrels normally used in the Fitch type attenuator system or the Energite type. Use your truck scales to be sure you have the 20,000 pounds minimum recommended. The truck mounted attenuator, TMA, is a crushable cartridge that is capable of protecting a stationary truck from an impacting vehicle at speeds up to 45 miles per hour. During impact, the cartridge crushes, absorbing the energy of the errant vehicle. Years of extensive development and testing have given us this TMA system that has been approved by the National Cooperative Highway Research Program. But what about the key ingredient that makes it all work? You, the operator. Let's begin at the beginning, the walk around. The seven step walk around is fully covered in part two of the commercial driver license series. In that video, step six, check signal lights is shown. When you have a TMA, be sure to check the lights on the attenuator when you check the lights on the truck. Additionally, you must check that the TMA is securely fixed to the truck, that the aero panel is secured with a safety chain and held taut by a chain binder. Check it before operation. Let's strap ourselves in and get prepared to go out to the work site. This is a proper procedure for securing the aviation style harness. Adjust the seat. Place the right lap belt on your right leg. Place the left lap belt on your left leg. Ensuring that all belts are flat, bring the right shoulder harness over your right shoulder and engage the ring. Now, holding the right hand assembly, engage and lock the buckle. Proper adjustment of all belts means a comfortable fit with as little play as can be acceptable to the operator. Let's now proceed to the work site. The light arrow panel must be down in the travel position and the TMA fully raised and locked. The TMA must not be in the down position anytime you are traveling unless following a crew at speeds not to exceed five miles per hour. In other words, a slow moving operation. It should be noted that in the travel position, the TMA is up and locked mechanically. The TMA may now be lowered to the bottom of its travel. 
To properly position the TMA, remove the remote switch assembly, fully unwind the extension cord. Step to the rear to ensure a clear line of sight and push the down button, which releases the locking pins. Release the button and the TMA will come fully down. Rewind the extension cord and place the switch back in its holder. When in the full down position, flags are to be placed in the holders. Note, operating instructions are located on each side of the cartridge. To prepare the TMA for normal road travel, the following steps must be taken prior to leaving. Remove the flags. Remove the switch. Fully unwind the extension cord. Step to the rear to ensure a clear line of sight and press the up button and hold it in. At the full up extension, the hydraulics will engage the mechanical shafts and lock the TMA. Rewrap the extension cord and install the switch back in its holder. Enter the cab, turn off the flashing arrow and lower the light arrow panel to the travel position, fully down. We've now arrived back at the yard. Let's prep the shadow vehicle so it is ready to go in the morning. The power source for the light arrow panel is a battery pack made up of four deep cycle batteries. This battery pack must be charged every day to ensure that the system is fully capable of supporting each day's use. We are using this display unit to show you the various parts. To recharge the battery pack, you need only plug in the 50-foot extension cord to a 110-volt source. The battery pack will charge itself and automatically shut off when full charge has been achieved. The start-all connector is only used in case of emergency. If the battery should fail during worksite operation, then start the truck and plug in the start-all. Let's discuss two final items, the removal of the light arrow panel and the truck mounted attenuator for maintenance. Step one would be to find a fairly level area, preferably a hard surface. Lower all three wheels to the ground, starting with the rear one. Now, unplug the electrical power leads. Simply pull the pins and move the cartridge away from the truck. Restow the pins. To properly remove the light arrow panel, you must first stow all cables on a hangers provided and remove the chain binder. The unit may now be lifted with the use of an overhead crane or utilizing a forklift. The light arrow panel shall never be lifted or removed unless it is down in the travel position. Use the new shadow vehicle properly. Remember, you owe it to yourself. <laughs>